Hey everyone, this is Mad Black, the most dangerous and the most toxic black man on the internet, and I am black up in your face again with some more pro-black commentary. So, a very sad story coming out of Ohio, where this old devil named William Brock, who's eight, and he's 81 years old, he wound up murdering a older black woman who was an Uber driver, and her name was Lolita Hall. So, this is a kind of a convoluted story in how this happened in the first place, but I'll, I'll do my best to tell the story, because I, I saw it last week, and I actually posted it on my Facebook page. I know it didn't get any interaction. I don't know if anyone actually saw the video, but I posted the video just to show the news report of William Brock actually being charged with murder, surprisingly. But, uh, because he is a white man and Lolita Hall is a black woman. But, uh, you know, it, it, it made me sad when I, I saw the story and, and getting to see the actual camera footage of what happened, or at least partially of what happened, was very sad to see. Because like I said, this is an old black woman. She's 61 years old. And, you know, she kind of reminded me of like, you know, like the women that used to be like my Sunday school teachers or just women from my own community when I was growing up. So seeing this old woman who has a lip and, you know, she's going, just going about her business, doing her job. And then she's actually trying to get away from this devil. It, it just, it broke my heart to see that. So I'm not going to show the actual video itself. You guys can go watch it yourself if you want to go see it online. But it is disturbing, so just be, you know, be aware of that and prepare yourself if you're going to watch it. But, uh, so so this is the story of, of what happened. Or at least it's this the, the story that's being given right now. So William Brock was at his home in Ohio, and he was getting all these, like, weird scam phone calls telling him that one of his, like his nephew or something like that was being held at the jail. And if he wanted to bail out his nephew, he had to come up with like $12,000 or get some gift cards or whatever. And there might be some of you out there who are not familiar with this, but there are, this is one of the, the main scamming calls that are given on the phone to old people. There's lots of them out there, and sometimes it's people within the United States. A lot of times it's these foreigners, either from Africa or India, and what they'll do is they'll call these old people who they know are home by themselves, and they'll, they'll scam them in some way, shape, form, or fashion to get money from them or get some gift cards from them or get their, uh, their identification numbers and stuff like that, like their social security number, just to steal their identity. So it happens a lot, and this is one of the scams. Like they, they have different versions of it. They'll say sometimes they'll call and say, uh, "You owe the IRS money, or you overpaid, or you overdrafted, or on your bank account, or you know you you owe money to such and such electronic company, or something like that." And then like they'll convince the old person to give up their personal information so they can steal their money, or something like that. Like I said, it it happens a lot. This is something I'm very aware of because I do follow these types of scams online. And I, I, I remember during the pandemic, I watched a lot of videos where a lot of these scammers got caught or were being exposed by people who are anti-scammers and hackers who would go and find these scam artists and expose them or steal their information or destroy their computers. So I, I enjoy seeing stuff like that where scam artists get what they deserve. But <clears throat> that's what William Brock said was happening to him. And then the scammer called for an Uber to come pick up a package at William Brock's house. And that happened to be uh, Lolita Hall. So the scammer was calling William Brock and also calling Lolita Hall and caused them to interact with each other. And made it seem as if Lolita Hall was involved in holding William Brock's nephew in prison. So when she got there, William Brock pulled out a gun on her and tried to hold her hostage. So he basically kidnapped her. 
right? He was holding her there against her will at gunpoint. And eventually she tried to get away because she didn't, obviously she didn't know what the hell was going on. She just thinks some man is holding a gun on her. But like I said, she's old. She had a limp and, you know, she just couldn't get away fast enough. And he wound up shooting her three times and killing her right then and there. And then he decided to call 911, right? And I saw the little video interview between him and the police when he's in the police car about what happened, right? So real sad and and, and just a, a terrible thing to happen. So I, I'm just giving you that. I gave you that information about the scam, so just so you know what it is, because it, it does exist, okay? This is something that does exist out there. However, William Brock still had no right to murder this woman. He had no right to do what he did, okay? It doesn't matter whether you're being scammed or not. You can't just kidnap someone at random and then murder them when they're trying to get away from you, okay? I know this is something that white people think is okay to do, especially the black people. Like, white people think it's okay to detain black people, ask black people where they're going, and if black people don't present some freedom papers or prove their innocence right there on the spot, it's okay to kill that black person, even if it's an old black person. This was an old black woman who had a limp, didn't even know what the hell was going on, and she wound up losing her life from this devil. Right. So, you know, like I said, it, it's it's a sad story overall. And I, I'm, like I said, I feel terrible for Miss Hall's family. Not only just the fact that their 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 mom or grandma is dead, but the fact that. They actually get they have video footage of the killing and, and seeing their 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 loved one pleading for her life and trying to get away, but couldn't get away fast enough. That's that's horrible. Right. I can't I can't imagine what's going on through their heads with having to see that. And like I said, this old devil right here, William Brock, I hope he goes to prison for what he did because he, he did. It didn't have to go down like that. If he thought that someone was holding his his nephew or whatever at the prison, why didn't he just call the prison? Right. There's ways to get around these scams like you. You don't have to do what they say. You don't have to believe the nonsense that they give you on the phone because a lot of it's nonsense anyway. And, and let me bring up something else, too, because it, it seemed like the police dropped the ball on this one on purpose, where when the police got there to William Brock's house, the scammer called back, right? So the police answered the phone and were talking with the scammer. Now, why didn't they trace the call to figure out where this person was coming from? Why didn't they try to find out maybe if this person is within the United States and is still operating and running scams on somebody else? Because he's probably doing that. If there if there's a scammer calling one person, he's probably talking to like at least 10 or 15 other people at this time, right? So they should have tried to catch this person or, or at least identify where the call was coming from. But if you watch the conversation that they have, he, they basically dropped the ball. They said, well... We're detectives, so we're here. And, and like they, they said, the scammer said agreed to meet them <laughs> in some place. And of course, they, the scammer didn't show up. It's like, yeah, of course they're not going to show up, dummies. You knew that was going to happen. Why? Why would a criminal show up, especially after they've caused that much chaos? Why would they show up somewhere, right? So the police have dropped the ball in that case. And I guess they figure, well, we got William Brock, who's the one that actually committed this crime. But I already know his defense lawyer, if he has one, is going to try to use the fact that Mr. Brock was being uh, scammed and was, and quote unquote, was forced to do this. He wasn't forced to kill somebody. He just, you know, told some bullshit. But that's what his defense is probably going to be. I already know it already. But once again, he still had no right to kill somebody. That's not, no matter what you're going through or what you think is happening, you still don't have the right to uh, pretend you're a vigilante, pretend you're Charles Bronson or whatever, <clears throat> whatever the hell William Brock thought he was. And like I said, it's a shame what happened to this black woman. Now, once again, I'm surprised that William Brock is actually charged with murder. We shall see how this situation progresses and how 
this case goes. I, I'm I'm very attentive to see how this resolves itself. You folks can let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. I'd very much like to hear your opinions on this story. Anyway, this is Mad Black, and I will be back with my foot on a devil's back.